Hello, my name is Akshay Tangsale, and today I'm going to talk to you about gas absorption tower and how to step off equilibrium stages in the gas absorption tower. So let's start by looking at how the gas absorption tower looks like in a schematic diagram. Okay, so we draw our schematic diagram as a rectangular box and the feed stream coming from the top is the liquid stream L0 and the composition of L0 is given by X0 which is the solute composition. Typically X0 is 0 in gas absorption because the solvent is pure liquid. And the vapor stream coming out is labeled as V1 and the composition of solute is given as Y1. And the first stage at the top is stage number 1 followed by 2, 3, 4 and so on. A generic stage is labeled as stage N somewhere near the end of the column. So let's look at our equilibrium diagram on the XY plot. So the equilibrium line passes through the origin where both X and Y are zero and in this problem I'm going to just look at a dilute case in which case the equilibrium line is a straight line. In a concentrated system equilibrium line may actually be a curve. And for the sake of demonstration I'm going to draw our operating line as well and in absorption the operating line is above the equilibrium line. Okay so let's look at the top of the column. We have X0 and Y1 as the two composition. So one thing to remember here is that the operating line are all the points between stages and on the equilibrium line they will have compositions that are on the equilibrium stage. So having established that let's look at the first point because we are starting our analysis from the top of the column our first point is X0 Y1 and therefore it will be on the y-axis. Now because y1 is the composition of vapor coming out of stage 1, it should be in equilibrium with the liquid stage x1 coming out. So from the stage 1 we need to find and that has to be on the equilibrium line. Because y1 is in equilibrium with x1, we draw a horizontal line across to find our composition X1. Now this X1 between the two stages is going to correspond to vapor Y2 which is coming out of the stage 2. So we draw vertically up and we get the point X1 y2 on the operating line. Once again y2 vapor is in equilibrium with x2 liquid coming out of the stage 2 so we go horizontally across to the equilibrium line and we find our point x2 y2 and once again between the two stages we have x2 together with y3 which is the vapor stream coming out of stage 3. So if we go vertically up we find our next point which is x2 y3 and so on you can go on until you reach the bottom of the column. So now I hope you can understand how we step off vertical and then horizontal and then vertical and so on. Thank you.